Now let's use the information on that medicine cup to do some problems. I've discussed already how to set these up. It's the same way every time. Follow these patterns, follow these steps. It's going to be right every single time. Okay, what I know, here's the first one, four and a half ounces. Hey, how many milliliters is that? The question mark means how many? So write this down, what I know, write down what I know, four and a half ounces. Put it over one. I'm making it a number over one, which is the same number. I'm now multiplying by another fraction. Let me slow down, give you a chance to write this, okay? Again, what I know goes on top of the one times another fraction. Now the other fraction, there's the line. My numerator will go here, denominator will go here, but the first thing is put the words or the symbols in place first. Whatever the symbol is up on top will go down here. Ounces up here, ounces will go down there so they can cross out later. Uh, what I'm looking for, milliliters, goes up here. I would extremely highly recommend, because I know I'm right, to minimize the chance of making a mistake, put the symbols down first. Don't put numbers down yet. Put the symbols in place. Once they're there, now put the numbers in place. You got your little medicine cup. Ah, oh, I see here, medicine cup. That top line, one ounce is 30 milliliters, which you better learn. Next step, let's cancel out the words that we can cancel. Ounces up there, we'll cancel ounces there. The non-one numbers, and probably don't use that word around anybody else, it sounds kind of goofy, that's my word. Uh, the ones on the bottom, forget those. The ones that aren't one, there's one on top, another one on top. Since both of those are on the top, they're both numerators, we multiply them. Now to get the job done on your calculator, you need to convert that fraction into a decimal number. Well, that's 4.5. So take your calculator, your hand it in the calculator, turn it on, 4.5 times 30. Well, let's see here, 135. So the answer is 135. And again, whatever the word is there, those are the units we have. So four and a half ounces, the same thing is 135 milliliters. By the way, technically it's milliliters. I get a little sloppy, most people do. Milliliters, eh, mLs, that's even better <clears throat> if you're sloppy with your words. Another one, uh, you know, let's relate this to the real world. You have a patient who has just consumed 360 milliliters of whatever, insure this nasty brown junk. <laughs> You, though, are going to have to calculate this as to how many ounces that's the same thing as. You're recording information in ounces, not milliliters. So, 360 milliliters is well, how many ounces? Okay, same pattern. What I know, 360 milliliters. Write it down and put the word there, not just a number. Put it over one. Multiply by. A second fraction, which we'll put up there in a moment. What goes next? Milliliters up here, milliliters down there. Don't put numbers in place yet. What I'm looking for, ounces, goes on top. Ounces goes on top. Hey, one really nice thing about doing this the way we're doing, instead of me being up in front of the class, if I start going too fast, you're... <laughs> Here, you can just stop me, put me on pause, go, go back. Isn't this nice? I don't have your faces out there to look at. I'd like to look out there and see if you're doing this just like I'm saying. And if you're not, go around and you know, slap your hand, do something like that, or slash your tires. I can't do that. But at least you're better off because you can slow this down, look at this again, pause, go later. Isn't this wonderful? Okay, now that the words are there, let's put the numbers in place. The medicine cup, here we go again, that top line, the one ounce mark, one ounce is the same thing as 30 milliliters. What's going to cancel? Milliliters. Now, don't mess up. Don't try to anticipate what to do. It's just going to fall into place. 
there's a non-1 number here, 360, on top. Another non-1 number on the bottom here, 30. Well, 360 on the top, 30's on the bottom. So what do I do with these two numbers? You divide. So 360, 360, divided by 30. And your final Jeopardy answer is 12. That's 12 ounces. There it is. You're thinking, I hope you're thinking, hey, this is easy stuff. It's easy if you do it step by step like I'm showing. If you go and do your own thing or you're creative, uh, mm -mm, it's not going to work out. If you do the steps step by step like I'm saying, you are going to get the right answer. I promise. Let's do another one. Nine. What's the little letter, little T? Your answer is teaspoons. What's the big one? Tablespoons. Well, let's see. And I know you're getting sick and tired already, but I'm trying to make sure you get the pattern down and do it the same way every time. What I know, nine teaspoons, put it over one. Got that. Multiply by another fraction where whatever the symbol is there, I put it down here. What I'm trying to find, tablespoons, goes up there. Well, look, give it your little handy dandy little medicine cup. Uh, let's see, how many tablespoons equal how many teaspoons? Well, that halfway down mark, that's one tablespoon. That's how many teaspoons? Three. One tablespoon is three teaspoons. What'll cancel? And let me say this also. Don't just say, well, I canceled in my head. I did it in some imaginary way. No, you need to do it with your pencil on your paper. The farther we go with this, the more important this becomes that you need to see what cancels out to see what's left. Trust me, get into that habit also. Literally, physically, with your pencil, cancel those out. And I can see the only thing left will be the tablespoons. Nine's on the top, it's a numerator. Three's on the bottom, it's the denominator. So what do I do? Nine divided by three. Let's see, if you need your calculator, that's fine. If you don't, of course, that's better. Nine divided by three is three. Three tablespoons. I want to show you something else that's going to crop up. Um, but I, hey, this is, again, this is a wet erase board, not a dry erase board. I can't just erase it easily. So I'll come back to this on my next video. Let's do one more, though. So I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry. All right, let's do this one. Two and a half. What? tablespoons equals how many ounces is that well it, just set it up it'll all fall into place two and a half tablespoons or you know this you could write that as tbs same thing put it over one next step multiply by i'll make another fraction over there next step whatever's on top here goes down here what I'm looking for, ounces, goes up here. Well, let's see here, because you probably haven't memorized the medicine cup yet, but look at yours, and it says what? That top line, one ounce, is what? Two tablespoons. I hope you see how the medicine cup reads. You can read that. I hope you can. If you can't, don't give me any medicine. Now, tablespoons there cancels that. What do we have here? Two and a half on top, two on the bottom. Well, to do it on the calculator, you need to call two and a half, 2.5. Well, if you get, if you need mm -hmm, 2.5 divided by two, and the answer is, now watch out here. The answer, 1.25, hmm. 1.25 ounces. Now, we need to talk about this in great detail. When you have any number in the metric system, you write those numbers with decimals. 
Now, of course, if they're whole numbers, you don't put a decimal point with a whole number. But let's say we're 1.25 milliliters. Well, it's 1.25. But now it's 1.25 ounces. Here's a very important thing. It's just best to do this. If you have something that's not a metric measurement, of course, ounces is not metric. You should not write decibels. You should write fractions. That's just the general rule. Now, here's the all-time rule. Any number that's not a whole number that's metric, milligrams, milliliters, liters, you will write them with decimal numbers. If, it's, if you don't, if you were to write three and one-half, let's say, milliliters, that's metric, I would count off. So three and one-half, no, you'd write 3.5. But non-metric things, the best way is to write them as fractions. So how would you write 1.25 ounces? Well, that's what is a fraction. That's one and one-fourth. So that's how you'd write that. So the rule is, one more time, every number you ever write that's in metric measurement, if it isn't a whole number, you'll use decimal numbers. You know, 1.25, 3.6, 9.84, whatever it is. Non-metric stuff, teaspoons, tablespoons, ounces, write them as fractions. There's the rule. Now I'm going to go back and do this one in the next video to show you something else. So just kind of hang on to that. We'll do a few more of these if you're not sick and tired already, which of course you are already. I know that.